So I have seen a lot of videos of voice recognition with Raspberry Pi where they use this module. And I have to say I tried it and it kinda sucks. So in this video I will show you how to make your own voice recognition with Raspberry Pi without those not so good working modules. And if you don't believe me, here's a preview. Can you hear me? Alright. Today. So now that I have your attention, let's do this thing. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or higher, an SD card with Noob's program in it. I also have a casing for Raspberry Pi, it's not necessary. Then you will need a USB sound card and a microphone for it. I'm using a microphone from these headphones. And that's basically it for the voice recognition part. However, I will also be using GPIO in this project, which will react to my voice. So here I have some basic jumper cables, a green LED, and resistor of 150 ohms, and this module of two relays. If you have never worked with a Raspberry Pi, it's pretty simple. You just input the SD card and hook everything up as it needs to be. Then you just boot up the Raspberry and that's it. Of course, in that process you will need to input a new password, get Wi-Fi from somewhere and some basic stuff like that. So after the Raspberry Pi is prepared, by which I mean you have a mouse, keyboard and a monitor, you need to insert a USB sound card into a free slot. And from there, we now move on to the command line. Okay, so after opening the command line, we first need to check the Python version of this Raspberry Pi. Of course, it has two Pythons, that is Python 2 and Python 3, but on default, Raspberry Pi works on Python 2. So after checking the default Python in your Raspberry Pi, it should output Python 2.7. If it does not, you can just skip the next command. So now, I want to make that this Raspberry Pi would have Python 3.7 as default, and this is done by this command. If you're wondering why I want it on 3.7, it's because Python 2.7 is pretty old and this way it is simpler to install packages to Python 3. So after checking again, we can see that default now is Python 3. So now let's talk about programming environment. Raspberry Pi has Tony EDA, which is for simple projects and has lesser capabilities and is easy to use. However, I recommend using Python Idle, which has more capabilities and is more convenient in my opinion. So for installing Python Idle, you need to input sudo apt install python3 idle3. Free. Installing it will take a few seconds. And you will need to input y as in yes to proceed. Now let's start installing the required packages for speech recognition. And of course the first package for that is speech recognition. You installed it by writing pip install speech recognition. Installing it may take up to a minute. It's already possible to use speech recognition to recognize the voice from recordings. However, we cannot recognize voice from microphone because to use microphone with Python, we need another package that is called PyAudio. So now we need to install PyAudio by command sudo apt-get install Python PyAudio Python 3 PyAudio. And as you can guess, it installs for both Python 2 and Python 3, but that's just better that way. We need one last thing for this project to work. Since we will be using Google Web Speech API, we need a specific flag encoder because the data is sent to Google by this format. Most Linux have this encoder as default. However, it's not the same on Raspberry Pis. They don't have this encoder. That's why we need to install it by hand. To install flag, we need to write sudo apt-get install flag. This might take quite some time. Alright, 
We already have everything we need. Let's start programming now. As I have already said, we will be using Google Web Speech API. And this is where the fun begins, because the programming with this method is really simple. I mean, really simple. However, it's not the fastest speech recognition method, but still much faster and much more precise than with that module I have showed in the beginning of the video. So here is a sample file of speech recognition that you can find at GitHub Audas was taken voice recognition RPI. So now let's dive in into this file and I'll show you how everything works. So now we open up the Python idle and create a new project. Then you can just simply copy and paste the code from my GitHub. At the top you can see that we import libraries. First we import speech recognition as SR. For simpler use, this library lets us use commands required for speech recognition. Then from the datetime library, the date is imported. Though this is not Raspberry Pi 0, I still import GPIO 0 library because it works almost the same on every Raspberry Pi and it's much easier to call out functions this way. Lastly, sleep is imported from library time, which just lets us to use delays in this program. Since we're using GPIO, we have to know their pinout. This you can simply look up by opening terminal and writing pinout. This shows basic Raspberry configuration and every pin function. You can see that the red LED is assigned to 17th pin. The relay 1 is assigned to 14th and relay 2 is to 15th. First, the variable R we assign to recognizer, which is a method of speech recognition. Then to variable mic, we use method microphone to read sound from microphone. To understand where the program initializes, I use print hello. Then we send all the audio to method listen, where it is recognized by Google, which returns us only the words that were recognized, that we immediately print. There are if conditions for specific keywords, like today, led on, led off. If you use word today, it uses method date.today, which prints us today's date. And other keywords are for giving out logical ones or logical zeros to specific GPIOs. Finally, let's try this program out. But remember, since I am also recording on this Raspberry, everything takes a little bit longer to load than it would without recording. Can you hear me? Today. Good. Exit. Let's try it one more time with some bigger words. Can you hear my voice? This is a sentence full of nonsense and a lot of other stuff because I really don't know what I'm talking about. Pretty good. Exit. So as I have already said, it's quite slow because I'm also recording, but nonetheless, it's super precise. So now I'll show you how it outputs to GPIOs. Today. LED on. LED off. Relay one on. 
Relay one off. Relay one off. Relay two on. Relay two on. Relay two on. Relay. Do on relay with the second relay it's different because it it understands my two as in two not as a number and of course if it gets some kind of really bad sound it gives you an error so there's an area of improvement here but in the end, this speech recognizer works very well. However, if you don't get any results from your recognizer, try inputting in terminal alza mixer and change the settings on your microphone. That might help. And if you have any other problems or questions, you can reach me at Discord or Twitter. Dance.